Hey folks, Dave Ashenbrenner back again. Today we're going to talk about center of gravity and weight distribution and what it has to do with the design of the steering on the ER3. Hey folks, Dave Ashenbrenner, welcome to my shop. And today we're gonna to do a little experiment on center of mass, sometimes confused with center of gravity. But uh, the center of mass includes the weight of the rider and it changes whenever you're in a corner. When you corner, the center of mass changes to the inside of the corner and we're gonna illustrate that with a little pendulum setup I have here. So here's what I rigged up to illustrate this. When you're riding straight, you'll see that pendulum centers itself in the center of the frame and you can see it, it's balanced. And as we go into a left turn, you'll see the pendulum points to where the center of mass is in relationship to the bike itself. And this inner pendulum will illustrate that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try to get a percentage of how much weight goes onto the inner, to the inside wheel as opposed to the outside wheel. And we're going to do that by measuring the distance from the contact patch on the inner wheel to that pendulum. And as you can see, we come up with seven inches. So we're going to mark that spot and we're going to pull the, we're going to pull our ruler back. We're going to put a mark right on seven. I'm going to pull the ruler back to zero it on that mark. Right there. And now we can count up from there. And we can see our contact patch over here is 22 inches to the inside of the contact patch on the right wheel. And that gives us an idea of what the weight transfer that's happening as you go into a corner um, to get a percentage of how much weight is being transferred to the inner wheel as opposed to the outer wheel. Now I hope that uh, helped and um, we're going to actually have a weight in our next session. We're going to actually measure the weight, how much weight transfer is actually transferring to the wheels in a corner. So I hope this helped out. Thanks for coming out to my shop. This is Dave Ashenbrenner.